One time. Where you been? Where you been? About to get a sandwich, man. Yeah. Yeah. Winchell's. Yeah. Where you been? Got my camera okay so here we go we're in davinci resolve and right now all i'm going to do is i'm going to pull up a clip and we're going to take some items or objects that we want to remove out of the frame completely and just make this model or this uh, talent that we're actually shooting for a music video for um over at Dusitani. and yeah man so obviously she has a little bit of bags underneath her eyes like you can see um, in some of this footage right here you may have some models yourself or you may have worked with some talents that may have you know some imperfections in their skin or just some overall things about their body or their face that they don't particularly want in video so this is a really good way to like remove some of that stuff just to make them look just a little bit more flattering man i mean this is going to be on a music video so this is this is like a permanent thing you know people can look back on it for years to come and so obviously we want to make everybody look the best that they possibly can to me there's no difference between going into photoshop and liquefying people's fat away and all that stuff this is no different than that all right so here we go i already have a clip already set and ready to go these are actually two clips that are from the same uh, music video shoot one's just a little bit wider and then we go in just a little bit tighter on the next clip all right so as soon as you have your clip it's up it's ready to go the first thing we do is make sure it's selected and go over into the color tab after we're in the color tab the next thing we're going to do is we're going to zoom into the portion that we want to kind of mask or take away from the scene in this particular shot what we have right here are just a little bit of bags underneath the model's eye right here um, I don't know she might have been drinking all night and she might have got tired but either way um, we want to take it out of the scene so the first thing we need to do is head over into our power window tab over on the bottom if we look over on the bottom of the tab here we have eight different options to choose from we're going to choose the third one which is the power window tab and we're going to select our pen tool make sure we're zoomed in to the portion that we want to adjust and all we're going to do is simply just like if you guys have ever used Photoshop we're simply just going to draw a mask over the area that we want to remove. Once we have that section selected, we're gonna head over into the very next tab on the bottom, which is our tracker. And we're gonna make sure that our playhead is at the beginning of the clip. And then we're gonna simply press the play button. What this is gonna do is track this mask throughout the entire clip. Here we are at the end of the clip. All right, so once we have that object tracked, the next thing we're gonna do is skip over blur and key and go straight over into our sizing section. And that's the second to the last tab on the bottom here. And if you go over to where it says node sizing, edit sizing, it might be on edit sizing by default, but just make sure that it is on node sizing. And then we're gonna head over into where it says key lock and make sure that is checked off. Once you have that checked off, we're gonna head over into the pan and tilt section. And all this is gonna do is it's gonna take another sample of her skin wherever you guys feel that it looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and move this pan over just a little bit and then maybe the tilt up a little bit. And to me, that looks pretty good right there. And keep in mind, we're gonna go ahead and feather this to make it look super nice here in a second. Once you've selected a good area of the skin or the frame that you're working in, we're gonna head back over into the color tab. And if you notice here, it says soft one over on the softness. Basically, all this is is a feathering mechanism that incorporates into the mask. And all we're gonna simply do is drag this up slightly until we get somewhat of a natural look. So we're gonna play this clip from front to back and see exactly what we did here by hitting Control D. This enables and disables nodes. Here is the before. And here is the after. Completely remove that area of the skin. Okay, so once again, here is the before and here is the after okay so moving along into the second clip and the way that this lighting was in this particular scene so this is going to be a really good test to see whether or not we can get this looking like supernatural or not or whether you can tell whether it's been uh, modified in post so once again we're going to make sure the clip is highlighted head over into the color tab and the first thing we're going to do is head over into our power window and go ahead and make our selection. Let's go ahead and track our playhead to a good spot where we can get a good sample. And I think that's and I think that looks pretty good right there. And let's go ahead and select the area that we want.